Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning I think morning lagi kot Okay, finally jumpa dengan Miss in the video Sebabnya kita punya perintah kawalan pergerakan dilanjutkan Hingga 14 April 2020 Kan ada hot whatsapp Miss tanya Tanya Miss sekolah buka bila, senang aja. Mak ayah awak tengok berita, mak ayah awak baca whatsapp uh, Dan awak sendiri pun saya rasa baca whatsapp dan berita Memang sekolah akan follow perintah kawalan pergerakan. Kalau PM umum panjang lagi, panjanglah lagi kita bercuti. But bila kita cuti ni doesn't mean that you have to enjoy on the because you have to remember in September you will be sitting for your UPSR and of course you are hoping to pass with flying colors. Ingat deh, pass with flying colors maksudnya lulus dengan cemerlang. You want to be successful in your UPSR. So, kalau kita kira-kira kita dah cuti sekolah seminggu and then dua minggu perintah kawalan pergerakan sesi yang pertama and then add on, tambah lagi another two weeks sesi kedua, lebih kurang one month and more lah, sebulan lebih kita cuti. Kalau saya tak ajar at least a little bit I believe when the school is open bila sekolah buka your mind will be very blank akan jadi sangat kosong so this is what I can do to help you ni gapo saya boleh buat lah nak tolong budak-budak nasi saya uh, to learn at home and saya tahu kita ada kekangan because we are living in the rural area kita tinggal di tempat pedalaman rural R-U-R-A-L pedalaman we are living in the rural area not everyone tak semua orang have the access to the internet tak ada access internet ke semua orang ada and not everyone have the access to whatsapp and so on but even if sekalipun if you are using your parents if you are using your parents phone Uh, please lah uh, Spend some time Every day uh, Habiskan sedikit masa sehari tu To look at the notes that I will give you Tengok nota Whatever videos I will share Apa-apa videos I can share And whatever exercise uh, That I ask you to do Apa-apa latihan yang saya suruh buat Please do Memang awak kena salin lah Salin dalam buku mana Senang je awak tahu Kalau benda ni essay uh, Yang berkait dengan kertas writing In your English Uh, three, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, English three. And kalau benda yang berkait dengan grammar, English two. Kalau benda tu berkait dengan comprehension, pemahaman, textbook, and English one. Uh, saya akan ajar, maybe saya akan discuss soalan sikit. Saya akan ajar benda pada textbook sikit. Uh, Apa-apa yang awak rasa awak kena salin, awak kena ulang kaji, salin. And tolong tell your friends, beritahu kawan awak juga to do so, so ada kawan ni dia guna phone parents, so maybe terlepas maklumat, tolonglah at least duduk kat rumah tu tak boleh guna banyak jam pun, at least one hour to two hours uh, do something uh, on English, buat sesuatu mengenai English, study, buat exercise and so on, and hari tu kita, we had, we had finish our LK1 latihan kecemerlangan 1 and I had already finish marking all the papers saya dah tanda semua kertas and congrat congratulations to all of you tahniah kepada semua why did I say congratulations kenapa saya cakap tahniah because uh, my history in teaching in SK dah bong lah uh, since 2012 until now for this year LK1 periksa yang pertama sekali everyone in C class pass the exam lulus maknanya tak ada yang gagal A tak A tu belakang kira lah nanti wait for the surprise when we meet in school one day bila kita jumpa kat sekolah nanti hmm, miss maksudkan buka sekolah lah uh, ok jadi tahniah and memandangkan kita dah siap since we had finish our LK1 Let's discuss our LK1 paper. Say I can start. I will start with your writing paper. I will start with your writing paper. Ha, awak pun memang tahu dah sebab video ni memang duk fokus itu. Miss Handel sendiri ni pakai tripod. I hope the writing is clear. You can see lah kalau gegar-gegar sikit tu pun faham je lah kan. Your miss is shaky. Uh, is shaky but shaking. Alah tripod tersangkut kat meja. Okay kita akan discuss section A dulu. I hope you can see it. Uh, nampak lah kot. Okay. Macam biasa, section A kita ada 10 marks and you should allocate 
or you should use awak peluguna about 10 minutes only to answer this section. Okay, kita tengok instruction kat sini. Study the brochure below. Teliti brochure di bawah. Brochure ni dia macam pamphlet lah, risalah. Use the information. Guna maklumat to complete the following text. Untuk melengkapkan text berikutnya. Text kat mana? Text kat sini. Saya aja dah. Bila kita tengok maklumat kat sini, kita nak jawab kat sini. Kita akan cari. Apa yang dah ada kat sini? Kat sini pun, apa yang dah ada kat sini? Sorry eh, kat sini, apa yang dah ada kat sini Kat sini pun kita cross, kita palang Maknanya tak nak guna dah Apa yang tak ada Kat sini Tapi ada kat sini Yang tak ada kat sini, yang tak ada kat sini Tapi ada kat sini, kita circle Why should we circle? Kenapa kita kena circle? Because those maybe are the answers Yang kita circle kat sini ni Mungkin adalah jawapan For these blanks untuk tempat kosong ni dan saya juga ingatkan awak Saya ada ingatkan Bahawa bila kita jawab kat sini Kita kena peka Sometimes kena tambah A and the Of In On At dan sebagainya ha, Yang tu kena peka Dan kita kena tengok verb tu Dalam bentuk past tense ke Verb tu ada to ke Sebelum dia Verb tu ada Is are and was were Kena tambah ing ke Yang tu kita kena tengok dulu kan Okay kita Study the brochure first Okay you can see two pictures here ada dua gambar. The first picture, if you can see, this uh, is a fruit basket. Ini adalah bakul babahan. You can see a card here. Nampak card kan? The fruits, the basket and a box of, I don't know, maybe a box of chocolate maybe. So, let's confirm the information below. Jom kita sahkan maklumat, maklumat kat bawah. Okay, this is the name of the gift. Ni nama hadiah. Awesome basket Awesome basket Sebenarnya kalau awak tak faham awesome sekalipun Awak tahu kat atas ni mesti tajuk Tajuk apa? Okay maybe nama baku ni lah Nama baku ni awesome basket ha. Bila nama kepada sesuatu It is very special The first letter for each word Huruf pertama untuk setiap perkataan Of course kena capital letter A capital letter B capital letter Awesome basket Nama baku ni Sebenarnya ni fruit basket, bakul buah-buahan Tapi dia ada nama, nama dia adalah awesome basket Dan sebenarnya awesome, kalau orang tengok cartoons Dia tahu awesome, it's awesome Sama dengan great, ha, bagus, sangat bagus Menakjubkan, marvelous, wonderful Serti lah awesome Okay, and then in this fruit baskets You will have five oranges, ada lima orange Six green apples One box of imported chocolates satu kotak coklat import Import ni maksudnya From the foreign countries Daripada negara luar We are living in Malaysia Kita tinggal kat Malaysia oh, Where is my pen? Okay, I think I will use this Saya harap awak nampak lah Okay, we have local Yang ni salin lah Sebagai vocabulary note Nota vocabulary We have local fruits Kita ada buah-buahan tempatan Such as rambutan, durians Uh, mango stins and so on Itu adalah buah-buahan tempatan Local ni, local ni maksudnya Tempatan We also have imported fruits Imported fruits Kalau import ni Buah-buahan daripada luar Okay Imported Local lawan dia imported ha, Perkataan berlawanan, antonym Imported ni daripada di luar Maksudnya from Daripada apa? Okey, nampak tak saya tulis? Saya harap nampak lah. From foreign countries. Daripada negara-negara luar. Foreign luar. From foreign countries. Okey, kita ada imported fruits. Kita ada imported chocolates. We have imported shoes, imported bags. Asal awak faham imported ni from foreign countries. Daripada negara-negara luar. It is not made in Malaysia Tak buat di Malaysia It is not from Malaysia Ia bukan daripada Malaysia Kalau local It is from Malaysia Ia daripada Malaysia It is made in Malaysia Dibuat di Malaysia Kan awak duduk dabung Awak dengar perkataan local train Kereta api local Kereta api local ni tempatan ha, Maknanya dia travel tempatan sahaja ha, okay. okay Kita tengok balik perkataan foreign Foreign ni Luar ataupun asing Kita dekat Dabung kita nampak orang asing Kita nampak apa orang asing Perkataan orang asing Satu pelancong turis Tapi satu lagi 
foreigner. Satu lagi apa? Foreigner. Foreigner ni orang asing. Kalau more than one, we add S. More than one, kita tambah apa? S. Dan untuk pelancong, tak kira pelancong asing ke pelancong Malaysia, kita panggil dia tourist. Kita panggil dia apa? Tourist. Perkataan ni minta tolonglah tahu dah. Tua lawatan. Kalau tourist, pelawat, pelancong, more than one, plural, we add S. Yang ni, yang ni ni, kat bawah ni silent lah dalam nota vocabulary awak ya. Yeah. Okay. Back to this balik pada ni. Jadi dia dapat satu kotak coklat import. It is not in Malaysia. It is not made in Malaysia. Tak buat di Malaysia lah. It is from foreign countries pada negara-negara luar. Okay, ni coklat. And then you will get complimentary get well soon card. Yang ni ni, dua baris ni. Yang ni, kalau nampak ni. Ni dengan ni. Satu point ni Silap sepatutnya point dia buat macam ni Soalan ni bermasalah Saya tahu awak confused sebab dia tak buat point gini Patutnya dia buat point-point gini Awak tak confused ke? Complimentary get well soon cut Cut tahu cut get well soon Semoga cepat sembuh Complimentary tak tahu Complimentary ni tolong ingat dah Salin juga dalam nota vocabulary Complimentary maksudnya free Maksudnya apa? Free Maksudnya free Okay And then RM25 Bila ada RM ni kita tahu It must be the price mesti harga the, uh, It cost RM25 Ia bernilai RM25 Or the price is RM25 Or it is RM25 Ia adalah RM25 Dah siap yang ni Okay the second thing Yang ni kita tengok ada basket juga Fruit basket juga You can see a teddy bear You can see a box but I am not sure what is in the box. So, let's check it out. Okay, the name of the basket is Lovely Basket. Nama dia basket or basket. Dua-dua betul sebutan eh. Lovely sebenarnya kalau orang cakap you are lovely. Kamu ni macam seorang yang uh, comel lah. Dia cakap baku yang comel lah ni. One bunch, one bunch of grapes. Collective noun. Penjodoh bilangan. Segugus anggu. You can see a, a bunch of grapes here. Or one bunch of grapes. This is one point. Oi. ah, Bukit lindung. Okay. And you have five red apples. Ada lima apple merah here. These are the apples. And you can get. Awak boleh dapat. One box of oat. Satu kotak oat. And raisin cookies. Dan coklat raisin. Makan kismis ke? Ha, kismis tu lah raisins. Biskut kismis. Okay, and you can also get complimentary greeting card. Dapat card greeting. Kita dah belajar perkataan greeting, ucapan. Card ucapan free. Complimentary ni maksudnya free. And you can also get a teddy bear. Saya guna perkataan apa tadi? A. A. Kenapa? A. Seeko beruang teddy. Seeko beruang teddy. And it is RM30. Or it costs RM30. Ia bernilai RM30. Kena faham maklumat. Kalau kita faham, yes, we can answer here. But if you don't understand, you cannot answer this one. Okay, saya stop dulu sebab kalau buat video panjang-panjang, tak boleh upload dalam WhatsApp. Kita uh, shoot pendek-pendek video. Set, ha? Huh?